Yo YouTube, you lot have been heavily, heavily requesting that I put out my 20 and no tactics and formation video. This literally shows my ultra defending formation, my defensive, my balance, my attacking and my ultra attacking formation and um, tactics. If this sounds interesting, make sure you drop a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed already. And if you need coins, go to U7 by use my code BSETCHECK for 5% off and let's get straight into so YouTube, you lot have been heavily requesting my custom tactics and formations that got me 20 and 0 week in league last week, bro. This is not the team that get me, got me the 20 and 0, but it's very, very similar. If you want to see the actual team that I'm 20 and 0, I got highlights videos, link in the description, and I got rewards video for the 20 and 0, link in the description as well. So yeah, we start off with this because we, this formation because we want everybody on the maximum amount of chemistry that they can get on. Everybody's on 10 except for I Theo. Eight is is literally enough for Theo bro. Theo is the best left back slash centre back on the game bro. I play him sometimes I play him in the centre um free at the back but mostly we use four four two so this video is to showcase my four four two and my three five two basically what I use mostly but I'll just go through all of these yeah just in case you don't are wondering why these are all like different. So ultra defensive four two three one I use this formation and these tactics if I want to hold the lead. Say it's the 80th minute and I'm winning 4-3. This is what I slap on. Drop back because you want all your players coming back. 52 width is just perfect. 47 depth. You don't want your players too deep. That they can shoot from outside the box. Score long shots which are OP. The finesse shots. And you don't want them too out there. So that over top ball makes them in behind your defense. And they score. Better play balance. Direct passing is the best one. And then 50, don't mess with that. Players and mocks, you don't want too many because you're just defending, defending, defending. Corners, one. Free kicks, one. Formation, I use 4-2-3-1. This is the best overall formation on the game. Literally, bro. Literally. So, yeah, you got your centre-backs, you got your defence, you got your two CDMs. Well, this is your CDM that's always going to be defending. This one can go up a little bit. And you just got your attacker's instructions. Left back, right back, stay back while attacking. You don't want them to go up that much. CDM stay back while attacking, cover center, left cam, right cam, come back on defense, get into box for crosses, and then striker stay central getting behind. And this is the 442, which I use mostly, bro. Like 70% of the time I'm using this. So make sure you're listening up. Balanced, yeah, you don't want to mess with that. 50 is perfect. I don't mess with the width too much. Depth, you don't, as soon as I like I've said in the last formation, you don't want it too high or too back. Two back, yeah, you just go launch against you. Two forward, yeah, defend the line. Defend the line, if your depth is too much, the defender line is going to be too much. Let me show you. You see the four green centre backs, look how high they're pushing up now. So, one of these blue players, the right mid or the left mid, they can just send a through ball over the top to the two strikers. You've seen this. That's why you want it like on 53 ish, not too much, not too less. Balance is the best. Diary passing, you create the most chances. With 50, don't mess with that. Players in box, you want a decent amount so you can score headers. Corners, decent amount. You want a free kick, decent amount. Not too much, not too less. Then the formation. Let me tell you. This is the best formation, but this is how I set up in game. Then the instructions. Left back, right back, stay back while attacking. Your proper CDM who's always staying back. Stay back while attacking, cover center. This is so. They're always there, bro. If, you, if your team needs help in the midfield to defend, Fiera is always there. Tanali is acting as my um, box to box, but he literally defends with Vieira perfectly, bro, and attacks perfectly as well. Left mid, right mid, come back and defense, getting behind. Make sure you left mid, right mid, they've got a lot of five star skills, bro, and they're pacey and the dribbling's good and the shooting's crazy as well, finesse shots as well. And then your strikers, what can I say about these two, man? <laughs> they're the goats, man. They're just normal. And then 3 5 2. This is this is what I use like 30% of the time basically. Like yeah. Balanced for obvious reasons. The width 45. This is this is a formation that is literally naturally wide. So you don't want to put on 50 because it's gonna be too wide. 45 is perfect for me. Depth, you don't want too much. But I like to play on the front foot with this formation, so it's 55 is more than other formations. Balance direct passing for obvious reasons. 53 width. You don't want to go past 53. 52, 53 is fine. Playing in the box literally the same as left formation. And so is corners and free kicks. This is this is how a rocking game. You want three centre backs. You want them all above 90 pace, bro. On the left hand side, you want a left you want a left footer, and the right hand side you want a right foot. And the centre back you just want that flipping stud in there, bro. That anchor. Then the left mid, right mid. You need one player that can defend properly, at least one. If you can have two, great. 
both of them need to have attacking traits as well. They need to have that like, five star skills, pace, dribbling, shooting, everything. This Quadrado card, crazy, bro. Kaka's good as well, bro. The Vieira is CDM, Tanoi's box to box. Senior's crazy at camp, probably the best position, and then two strikers. Then instruction. Instructions, yeah, these are stay back for attacking. Your CDM stay back, your proper CDM, cover center on both. And then come back and defense game behind, left mid, right mid. Cam just stay and normal, and then striker stay normal as well. Then this is the formation. Say 75th minute and need one goal. Put, make sure you use this, bro. Constant press, 57, 70, bro. Your defending line is going to be high, bro. Literally, you um, if you're like on the halfway line, your full team is on the halfway line or above. There's no way the team should be passing around you like that, bro. If you're good switching players and pressing as well, manually as well, um, added with a constant press, bro, you should be getting a goal or two easily. Balance, sorry, passing, yes. 50, yep. As I explained, these I've explained already. Maybe you can put these up if you want to, but nah, I don't want to risk it too much. Formation 3 5 2, literally the same as my last formation, but it's just the tactics are a bit different. You can put this up to like 75 ish, no problem. Put this up to 55 as well, no problem. Let's see what works for you. This is what works for me. Yeah, bro, this is just crazy, bro. And yeah, literally. That's all I've got to say for my tactics and stuff like that. If you need me to play foot champs games, I play people's um, customers champs Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The prices are on Discord, so join my Discord and message me on Discord if you need to. And yeah, make sure you do the SPCs going soon. Yeah, bro, crazy. If you have any questions, make sure to leave comment down below. And if you want to join my Discord, um, everybody is helping each other out there. Discord, get out my TikTok, get out my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming on there daily soon. So yeah, I'm out.